What's going on? My name's Ryan. I'm Victor. Welcome to our musical Odyssey. Today, I'm going to have my brother listening to Kodak Black Testament. I'm 20 years old, but I act like I've been here before, like I'm a veteran. He spit this shit through me like I'm a prophet, but I'm a reverend. Put my blood, sweat, and tears on all these lyrics, because this is my exodus. I'm So before we get into this, if you're watching for the very first time, we wanted to let you know that we played the track all the way through. So if you've heard the track before and you're wanting to just skip over to the conversation, you got the time codes down below. That being said, this will be sipping on. The reason why I'm having my brother listen to this today um, is because I heard the song for the first time on TV, he was doing a live performance of it. I thought it was really cool. Um, Kodak Black, he's a very controversial artist in the hip hop game. Um, he's been to jail. He's done some dumbass shit in his lifetime. Um, basically, your typical hip hop artist, your typical rapper. <laughs> I don't know if Today he's selling. Yeah, right I mean, right. I don't know if he's selling drugs or any of that, but he's. He's he's very he does he does some shit. Aside from doing some shit, he has some very um off moments. But what I like about this artist is and when I say off moments, a lot of people would be like, This dude is a dumbass. Um, what I like about this individual is aside from his off moments and aside from the controversy that he brings with his fame. Uh, when you listen to his lyrics and you're listening to an album or anything that he's came out that's not commercialized, it's actually very conscious. Um, he seems to be a very bright, smart individual. Some may disagree, but at the end of the day, hey. Um, the biggest controversial thing about him that I saw was whenever he first came into the light of fame, he said, I'm better than Pac. I don't necessarily agree with that. And I know that there's many other people aside from the younger generation who is all pilled up and. Don't I mean, you up. roll on some fucking dice, say no, 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 no. And then even if it's true, there's plenty right. of people who are just going to say based on that statement. Yeah, yeah. You're stupid. Regardless of whether or right. not it's true, right? Yeah, you're stupid. But even then, regardless, because some people believe right. no matter what, nobody's going to be nobody's better. Nobody's going to be better, which is not true. Which is not true. But, but even then, with that being said, <laughs> the perception is. Yeah, the perception of many should and that's be, a ridiculous not, standard to put yourself up to yeah. like just prove that like right. don't say right. that yeah, prove no, that no, no. it's like Jacques saying I'm the king of R&B dude prove it shut the fuck right. up dude <laughs> I don't know if you heard about that or not I, I didn't hear about yeah, that dude pretty, you need to start putting me on some R&B shit I'm gonna shit, put you man. on some R&B shit dude, dude the only dude I listen to is that's from this age that I'm aware of is fucking uh, what's his goddamn name uh, The Weeknd that's all I do that. I'll put you up on some RB game. Yeah, we need going. some new age shit, because yeah. otherwise I'm on some tank. We'll get fucking, some, yeah, yeah, I'll get you some RB. Alright, but anyways, aside from that, um, yeah, the dude's a very conscious dude. I wouldn't call him Pac, but for me, he's a very bright individual despite the dumbass shit that he does and some of the dumbass shit that he says. Um I like him as an artist. He's cool. It's better than a lot of this other bubblegum rap bullshit, mumble shit that's out here. And, you know, I'm going to have my hate on that. It is what it is. I just don't like it. Speak the fuck up. I got to understand what you're saying. Yes, this uh, track is auto-tune. For me, I heard it without the auto-tune when he performed it. And it was just really cool to me. Man. You seen him him live? No, he, I've, I didn't see him live. I'm on TV. I saw him oh, live. Oh, I got you. Performing this track. Um, and then some interesting tra uh, facts about this album that he just released. Um, it is his first album to go platinum on the top 200 Billboard charts. Um, yeah, he's doing his thing. So, yeah. Definitely an artist to look out for. Definitely an artist to keep in mind, listen to. That being said, put your head, put your head, head, <laughs> put your headphones in. Grab your drink. Grab your drink. Turn your sound systems up. Let's get it. I'm God sent. I know I'm God sent. I swear for God. And now I'm talking about. Now I done overcame some of the obstacles. Came from up on the small rocks and shit. 
know I be out here scheming Like a demon see me I know I'm God sent me It's gotta be God I'm God sent Like he sent me up so I can relay these messages Like he used me as a vessel Like he used me as an instrument Trying to lock me in a box They hate how God just keep on blessing me Get locked me in the box I pray to God this ain't my destiny I don't train no lean I'm sipping no holy water Like this my medicine I'm a living testimony Every album like a testament Everything I went through made me who I am So he be testing me So I'm breaking bread with all my film Cause I don't take no essence I done sacrificed my nigga none of my niggas ain't see the best in me They want me slinging metal like the devil But I'm heaven sent my brother, my mom, and Alex for my daddy cause he neglected me I'm 20 years old but I act like I've been here before like I'm a veteran He spit this shit through me like I'm a prophet but I'm a reverend Put my blood, sweat, and tears and all these lyrics cause this my exodus I'm dying so I can live, so I can live, I resurrected it I'm dying so I can live, so I can live, I resurrected it Ayy, blood in my eyes, I'm going blind, oh Stuck in these streets, feel like my life froze I've been running these streets, got me dehydrated I've been living so crazy, feel like I'm dying, baby Blood in my eyes, I'm going blind, oh I'm stuck in these streets, feel like my life froze I've been running these streets, got me dehydrated I've been living so crazy, feel like I'm dying, baby I just shot the nigga, now I can't sleep My brother, he just washed me down with bleach, oh, oh, oh Project baby, it's not a nose head TZ. Now everybody around the world trying to be me. Miss my niggas, hope they see me on the TV. I'm on Instagram showing off my BBs. You don't understand that this one easy. I've been walking around with my hair busy. Shot a nigga, took a shower with the bleach, y'all. Mama, I fell victim to the screams, I'm sorry. I'm in middle school selling weed in the hallway. I was skipping school, got in beef, started rocking. Jack with at my G, we like Batman and Robin God, I know you looking out for me through the darkness Blood in my eyes, I'm going blind, oh Stuck in these streets, feel like my life froze I've been running these streets, got me dehydrated I've been living so crazy, feel like I'm dying, baby Blood in my eyes, I'm going blind, oh I'm stuck in these streets, feel like my life froze I've been running these streets, got me dehydrated I've been living so crazy, feel like I'm dying, baby soundscape the beat was nice yeah uh it pretty well fit the message yeah. uh, overall i would say at least for me personally dude this song was super incongruent what do you mean by that and what i mean by that is that you know the beat was nice and the lyrics were amazing yeah I don't know about amazing, but they were really good, you know, and there was some depth to it, you know, yeah. talking about his life and kind of, right. uh, you know, the hardships and whatnot. But the way that he delivered it with with his rap, man, it was just like, it didn't fit, man. It's like gotcha. he's spitting gotcha. these fairly deep uh, yeah. lyrics yeah. on top of a, you know, an appropriate beat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, with just that ignorant, half-spoken, yeah. fucking auto-tuned right. uh, delivery. And right. it's like, so I'm like, I'm conflicted. I'm like, 
I like it, it spoke, and I don't. And, and again, it spoke I like it, me. and I don't. Right. And for me, it spoke to me because I heard it live. Maybe I, maybe if I was, there, I don't know. If no, it's cool it's, to uh, do it live. I don't know because when it was live, it wasn't auto tune. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't auto tune, which is weird because it's cool. super like, easy to do auto tune live. So I don't right. know why he wouldn't. I mean, do it. he didn't. He didn't do the auto tune. But uh, live. I mean, yeah, no, it was cool. I don't know. So yeah, no, the the message. Well, I mean. The message was simple. There, there's not a whole lot to unpack there. Right, right. Uh, but he's just kind of just talking about his life and you right. know, the hardships and coming up and you know, you know, fighting through the struggle. Right. But uh, like I said, just the way he delivered it and, and the tone of his voice. Right. On top of the auto tune, it's like these things don't match. Like right. the seriousness of the message and the music right. don't match the way that he is delivering it vocally. Uh, so yeah, I'm conflicted, dude. Yeah. I like it and it's I don't like, all at the same time. Right. Like, it's kind of like I'm um, uh, with people like him. He's got that very whiny. He he's got this very whiny southern slang. It's kind of like Little Wayne in a sense. So you put Little Wayne on auto tune, and it was like why the fuck? Oh yeah, that was the worst. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> why the fuck did you do that? Because yeah. whenever Little but, Wayne, but even then, Little Wayne, he did he had a higher pitch to him. Yeah, which was a little right. you know, annoying. But at but the same time, he his spoke lyrics, clearly. Yeah, his, he well, spoke clearly. He yeah, delivered it clearly. He did, yeah. he, this dude has kind of a whiny voice, yeah. and also he's like half cutting it, like like right, you know, right. like a you know five year old would do. And there's where the ignorance comes. <laughs> out. That's what that's what I'm talking about. And a so, lot of people will listen to, to me, this, and a lot of people will say, "Ah, oh, man, he's stupid." Or I don't necessarily think that. I don't think that an individual that was able to make it like, yes, I, for a lot of people, okay, with the industry, people say it's 95% who the fuck you know and then the rest of the 5% is the talent. In this case scenario with this individual, I feel like it might be like 90 to 85% of who he knows. And then there's genuine talent behind it. Or well, you know, again, aside what I'm from interested that genuine know, talent is just like you know, for him, he's definitely a lyricism. Well, There's the, the more thing stuff I was have to listen to. What yeah. I was going to go into is you know, my question would be because it is so incongruent, uh, <clears throat> and again, it could just be a matter of you know, that's his attempt of making his own unique style or what have you, or that is the only way he can do his music I you know, like, lyrically. Yeah. Um, my question would be, to me. The reason why it's harder for me to love this track right. is because it comes across as though he just bought it. So like, he bought the lyrics, yeah. he bought the track, nah, nah, and then he just wrapped it. I feel like if you were to follow this dude's um, if we if you were to follow this guy's upcoming into the industry and get the full life story on the individual which i don't know 100 percent the full life story but i've heard enough of the life story to understand there is a lack of education on this dude's end yeah. so what i mean by that is his struggle that he has gone through maybe that he did maybe he didn't finish high school yeah maybe he's not college educated but what i do know about this individual is Regardless of the fact that he didn't finish whatever or he had these hard times and it's, it's taken away from his education, he does seek knowledge. Yeah. And you can tell by the way that he moves himself as an individual. Again, there's a little. Well, I mean, at least the way, if assuming, so let, let's assume that he did write this. Yeah. Uh, you know, the way that he tells the story and the lyrics definitely shows, you know, Talent, some yeah, intelligence, yeah. some introspection. All right. And so, you know, that does give him some credit there. Right. And again, another thing that kind of adds, uh, again, to the question of what, if this was well written, yeah. uh, grammatically, is what I'm talking about here. Right. If this was well written grammatically, right. uh, then it would be even more suspicious <clears throat> as to whether or not he actually wrote these lyrics. But you look at, you know, just the first, the intro here, this first verse. You know, he says, uh, yeah, uh, no, I done overcame so much obstacles instead of so many. Right. You know, it's a clear grammatical, you know. Right. But uh, I mean, grammatically that's correct. And so, right. and so th those subtle things there, right, in turn, make it a little more 
yeah. plausible that he did write. Right, right, So right. definitely, you yeah. know, if you really know this artist, you right. know, let me know in the comments below. Right. Like, is this a, is he a real a lyricist? Like, does he write all stuff? Lyricist. Or is he like a lot of these guys where right. he's just buying the lyrics and he's got a ghost writer? I genuinely think and the that. dude. I, and again, like I said, please do comment for me. I believe that he's a real lyricist. Um, I think that he writes all his material, if not the majority of his material. There's a couple other songs that I'd like to uh, have you listen to by him. One in particular that I like, uh, he had with Lil Wayne. And he even said in the song, I'm not going to cuss in this song because I know my son is going to love it growing up. When he's yeah. To him. Like, the dude, <laughs> he's, that's what I'm saying. He's mm-hmm. got some force. The dude is there, but in a sense, he's not there. But I feel like with him not being there, he still seeks knowledge. So despite the life he's been given, clearly because of what he has gone through, um, and just a and little his, bit right, ex- and, 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 yeah, track, exactly. Yeah. With the success that he has, he's using it to better himself. Yeah, and knowledge as a person. Um, yeah, as an artist, you know, all in all. Yeah, but I also know it sounds good and what speaks to the soul and what speaks to the mind and. While this song isn't necessarily the best thing that's out there, it spoke to me. And the way that he performed it, it spoke to me. It was really Yeah, no, I mean, no, it's definitely, like I said, I mean, this would be a great track. Like I said, if it wasn't for, you know, the aforementioned kind of incongruency. It's definitely I think not that's a him, track. though, in a sense, so too, because I've got this track <laughs> on this. So he's got this track on, on the radio now, and it's with Gucci Man and Bruno Mars. And his part, he got this part where he's like, it make me want to see. And he's actually singing it. And it sounds just like that. And in the background, you have this dope ass instrumental that you can rock through. And then naturally, whenever Bruno comes in, it's just like, all right, my ears are healed. But even then, like with him, <laughs> my ears are healed. No, and, and, and even that, but they weren't so, they weren't so badly, oh, that's awesome. but they weren't so badly scarred though. Like, <laughs> Kodak, and, for, like and maybe that's why I like him as an artist. Like Kodak Black, like, dude, you are, you are dope, dude. Keep doing what you're doing. Even fucking sing how you want to sing, rap how you want to sa- sound, uh, rap how you want to rap. It sounds awkward, but it doesn't sound so awkward that it just tears me down. I'm like, fuck no, I can't listen to this shit. Like, I'm drawn in by what this motherfucker says. Like, I don't know why. Yeah, no, it's an interesting thing. Like, Like, this kind of track, like, if it came on, especially now that I had to sit down and listen to it all the time. Imagine fucking Bruno Mars singing some shit like Like, if I came. Oh, yeah. Or imagine, like, yeah, yeah, lyrically, it was solid. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's uh, it's interesting. So it's one of those tracks. Like if it comes on again, I'll definitely listen to it again and decide whether or not the sound of his delivery is enough to or enough to ruin the track for right. me, or if I can get over it. I think yeah. that might just be his limitation. Um, please be sure to tell us what you think yeah. in the comments. Yeah, <laughs> what you got off the song for me. My favorite thing about the song is on the the lyrics. Going back to the lyrics, I'm sorry. Um, how he said he shot somebody, got blood on him, and my brother had to put bleach on him like he's very vivid yeah. like he's painting yeah. a picture the dude is painting a fucking picture and that's what's lost yeah, the storytelling yeah, the like, storytelling was right. exactly what just uh like i said that's what created the incongruency if, the, if these right. lyrics were a little more basic right you know then i'd be mean, okay this kind of fits but no right you know, he painted just like right. he said it's a vivid you know, guy being a, a picture big, like, it's just picture. like yo the storytelling like, was clear i felt like i yeah. was in the room pouring the bleach on the yeah. motherfucker like yeah like i'm baptized like it, 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 if he would have said that shit like this nigga baptized me in bleach like that yeah. would have made it that much better but yeah and even then you didn't and that's all right that's it's your <laughs> song but still like just yeah no he's very um uh He's very in tune. He's very conscious. I like conscious rap. I yeah. like I yeah. like somebody that's going to paint a picture. I'm all for metaphors. I'm all for punchlines. But God damn it, tell the fucking story. And aside from telling a fucking story, stay on fucking topic. Don't jump everywhere. That's for sure. He definitely did that on this. That's true. Yeah. So I mean, for him, like, you know, and for a very highly criticized hip hop artist that's in the game, you know, for the people that hate. You can hate all you want. This motherfucker has some kind of sense to him because he's doing something. Is he better than Pop? No. <laughs> but even then, at the same time, like, you know what? He 
he he's a conscious dude, but right? you know, I got nothing but Again, respect for his art. At least for my end here, that's presuming, of course, that he's right in all this shit. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> if he ain't right in it, yeah. I don't understand how he it is. No, but my no thing is, no, no, no. But the, even then, you got to look but at the people that are But somebody can write them. something for somebody. No, you fuck that. I mean? But even then, there's they, but you got real niggas in the game that just don't allow that shit. Like Bootsy. Nah, not nowadays. Bootsy, no, no, no. no. Yeah. Fuck that. Bootsy but Badass. At Bootsy least, Badass. Bootsy Badass writes all of his shit. relevant. No, no. Fuck that. He's Bootsy, not no, relevant. Bootsy Badass is still relevant. He's, He's one of the first. Relevant. He is the first with, he with Bootsy Badass was with um, um 3-6 Mafia. Yeah. They they were the first African American group to win a Oscar off of music. Well, I'm he not first. saying that he wasn't. But good. even then, I'm not saying, saying that he's not. He no, re- he, he's not necessarily he's, well, relevant let, let, in this time talk. of. But let, he's let still say relevant this. enough to where there's respect. Yeah, right? let me you say know? this. You, you're 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 reaching for a different era. Yes, oh, that's like saying Pac. Like but it's what like, I'm saying I is, mean, well, who's like, he bad? Obviously not. Right. But you gotta, being, like you're reaching for a different era. I'll like, put it to you like this. young dude here. Right. But I'll put it to you like People this. Don't. He said you. Yeah. No. He said Joe no Peace. Uh, on my end, again, I think it's a solid track. Um, yes, I agree with a great deal of what you're saying. Um, and again, I feel like maybe if I was to introduce more to this to you, and yes, you were to get your understanding. Or right. Well, I mean, obviously, this yeah, is my yeah, first yeah. time listening to this dude at all. Yeah. And, and, and even then, I don't know. So if somebody knows, does this dude write his own shit? Please, I beg of you, comment down below. Let us know if he writes his own shit or not. Uh, if he, uh, tell us what you think. Comment down below. My name's Ryan. Victor. Thank you for joining our musical odyssey. We're out. Thank you.